welcome to Dotto Tech. Today, I thought we would build the perfect digital living room. Now, what is the perfect digital living room? It's a place where entertainment and computer technology meet, hopefully, in perfect harmony. Now, you're forgiven if the whole idea of getting your head around the digital living room leaves your eyes spinning. There are so many facets to the digital living room. You got your high def TV to consider. Where are you going to get your high definition signal from? Then you got to add your computer into the equation. How does it fit? And what about the internet and networking and personal video recorders? Well, that's an awful lot to digest without suffering some form of digital indigestion. So how's about we work through a few of the issues and I can maybe shed some light on the subject. Uh, unfortunately for me, this is one of those shows that I finish off feeling worse than I felt when it began because I have to go home after today's show and leave this here in the studio. <sighs> this is HP's Media Smart TV and it is a beauty. Now you gotta start your digital living room somewhere. The best place to start is the TV. It is the star of the show, after all. Media Smart TV from HP is a unique design that's gonna interface with every signal input that we have and provide an output that is simply marvelous. It was designed from the ground up to be the centerpiece of the digital living room. Now when you look at a TV, it's here, the image that you see on the display, which is gonna make the biggest influence on your buying decision. But it's the back side of the display, the number of connectors it has, that's gonna determine how well it fits into your digital living room. As far as this goes, it is a brilliant 37 inch LCD display. 37 inches of glory. It boasts a technically superior six millisecond response time, which is extremely important and frankly unheard of in LCD displays. The response time is how fast individual pixels can respond to changing video, which is especially important with fast action video like sports and our show. In the past, a downside to using LCD displays as television sets has been their fairly slow response time. Most LCDs just haven't been able to keep up with and refresh the screen fast enough to keep up with action moving sequences. A 10 or 12 millisecond response time might sound pretty darn quick, but in car chases and kung fu fights or even while watching a hockey game, it's not up to snuff. Your image is going to look blurry and pixelated. The HP Media Smart TV's 6 millisecond response time is a real breakthrough and it promises to keep your action scenes crisp and clear. The Media Smart also has a 6,000 to 1 dynamic contrast and 1,200 to 1 contrast ratio. Let me explain those to you. The contrast ratio produces richer contrast, blacker blacks, and helps it excel in the viewing of movies, especially those with darker scenes. Now, 6,000 to 1 for dynamic contrast is a very high dynamic contrast ratio, which is a measurement of the graduations between black and white in the moving images. This number is important as it makes for more realistic images because the details aren't as likely to be lost in the shadow. For movies with lots of dark scenes, it can make the difference between being able to see what's going on on the screen and not being able to see it. And for gamers, seeing what's moving in the shadows, that can be the difference between life and death, at least for your character. Another big benefit of the Media Smart TV is a 170 degree viewing angle. I can still see it, I can still see it, I can still see it, I can still see it. <laughs> so you don't have to sit right in front of the screen to be able to have a great picture. It also has a special ambient light adjustment feature which automatically adjusts the picture to room lighting. Now the Media Smart TV offers a great picture. It's full of great technical specs, but how well does it fit into this new digital living room of ours? Well, if we take a look to the business end of the TV, we will be able to figure that out. If we take a look here, we used to just have to plug in a cable connection or antenna into our TV and we're good to go. But now there are so many different input sources to consider. You've got your cable box, HDMI, satellite receiver, or DVD player. You've got your computer. Plus, you have to figure out how to control all of these devices. These connectors here allow us to control all of our different audio and video sources. But perhaps the most useful connection on the Media Smart TV isn't one that's here, but this one here. This is the Media Smart Box. This one allows us a wireless connection between our PC and our TV. The Media Smart TV has got this wireless receiver. See the antenna right here built in, which means we can access any content directly from our computer, even if our computer's sitting in another room which means that we can download movies to our PC's hard drive and then we can stream standard definition or high definition video from our computer directly to our television over our Wi-Fi network. The HP Media Smart TV supports multiple video formats including DivX, Windows Media Video, MPEG-2 and more. So if you use your computer to make your own home movies, you can stream them as well. 
Now, not only can we stream movies, but we can also stream music and send slideshows from our PC. Now, all of this is controlled with one easy-to-use remote control, and I'm going to show you how that works when we return.